What's going on? My name is Druid, and we're going to be going over a movement guide for Warlocks. It's going to be all over Solar, about Burst Guide, Icarus Dash, and just sword skating. Overall, this is not going to be anything about well skating. It's just going to be a simple, basic movement kit that anyone can do on console or PC. Now, Transversal Steps is not needed, but is uh, nice to have when doing uh, these type of movements. But obviously, say you are you have something else equipped, but you still want to move fast. These tips will help you out. But if you get if you're just a transverses lover like I am, you there you go. Now, mobility is a preference thing, but I recommend and prefer to have mobility between the 30 and 10 range, because usually mobility is your hang time in air. Your basic jump is pretty much how high you'll jump with that mobility. Have 100, you probably jump, you know, higher than that. But that is pretty much why I have very low mobility. Now, moving on to, well, the movement. Going for burst slide. Burst slide is a burst of energy behind your your jump, and burst slide can either make you go up really high, or can push you forward pretty fast. Now, when you chain bursts, you pretty much can travel distances pretty far, and it's you know really easy to do. Anyone can do a burst slide chain because it's just when you hit the ground, you do your next burst. Hit the ground, do your next burst. Hit the ground, do your next burst. Hit the ground, do your next burst. And so pretty much that's how you burst. That's how you just burst chain. That's it. Anyone can do that. All, all subclasses for Warlock that burst slide can do that. So that's your basic burst chain. Now, how do I go fast with Icarus Dash? Because obviously, you know, you know, just Icarus Dash, whatever, uh, I didn't go that far, but I see everyone else go pretty far. With timing your Icarus Dash and Burst, you want to pretty much take your Icarus Dash right pretty much immediately after you hit your space. So, you know how you jump, you know, you jump and you go pretty far, but pretty much what you're doing with Burst Gliding, Burst Gliding uh, Skate, is that you are double tapping your space bar or uh, your jump button pretty much. So that's pretty much how what you're gonna be doing. So you're gonna be pretty much, when you hit the initial turn off for your, it's gonna be something muscle memory. It's gonna take a lot of muscle memory to learn, but once you know that you turned off your, your burst slide, that's when you Icarus dash. So pretty much what people do is when they time their Icarus dash, pretty much when they jump. And that's how you'll go faster. So now on to source gate. Now, just a disclaimer, uh, Warline, Warline Zero Temporal uh, Sprint is not ideal to have. I'm just using this as a basis because it has a high ammo capacity. When you're learning how to do sword skating, it depends on the ammo capacity of a sword. So as you see here, it has 62. As for my Eager Edge, it has 70. And for Lament, it has 56. It all depends on the blade. This has Temper Edge, while my Eager Edge has Enduring Blade with a backup mag. And Lament has Hungered Edge. So the more ammo you have, the more you can do sword skates. We are doing a, our burst skate and we're gonna be doing an Icarus Dash. So pretty much what we're doing here with a sword skate is we're gonna swing and we're gonna Icarus Dash in when we're bursting. So pretty much it's a swing Icarus Dash type deal. And sword skating is doesn't really go that far, but it is pretty nice to have. Now, sword skates is kind of a hit or miss. You actually don't get that mileage. It's better for you just to Icarus dash, uh, burst skate, then try to try to do a sword skate. But it comes in handy when saying like you're like you need to close the gap. It does help out. 
It does help out when trying to close the gap. So say you're trying to do a jumping puzzle. It does help close the gap on that. But that is pretty much that. Now when temporal sprint. Yes, you can go pretty fast with it. You just have to time it when going fast. And it usually is going to be based off your burst. But Temporal uh, Sprint is just not ideal. But that's how far you'll go with it with the burst. You're not going to swing. You're not going to Icarus Dash. You're just going to be bursting. And then you're going to heavy attack. So now we're going to go how to learn Lament Skate. And Lament Skate was actually way more uh, like known around the time of Beyond Light because of the nerf of Warline Zero. Beyond Light, when Lament came out, Lament became the number one thing to have because of the movement tech. So pretty much you can do your sword skate, you know, you can do your, do that. But what's really cool is that Lament has a charge up heavy attack or light attack that you can do that has a big lunge to it. So pretty much what you can do, and this can be at a standstill or in air. I'm going to grab more heavy ammo here. So you can, it's pretty much having eager edge light. So you don't have an eager edge sword. You pretty much are going to be using Lament. And you see there, it, it goes crazy. It makes your camera go crazy if you hit it just right. But Lament uh, skating is uh, really good. As you can see, I'm, I'm traveling fast than what you would use for a Warline or a normal sword. And you can hit these mid-air or just go anywhere. I use this when doing damage for Crota when I had to travel the gap. You can use Lament Skate to kind of get to point A to point B. Now, maybe I haven't explained why I'm moving so fast with that is because with your swing, a sword swing is a buffer. So pretty much what's going on is that the game has to hold the information of all the inputs that are going on at the same time. So pretty much when I swing, I'm swapping to my next weapon. So that will carry my momentum. And that's how I do it with normal sword skate. So I'm swapping my weapon and I get a little bit of mileage. And that's pretty much what's going on with the sword skate. Now with Lament Skate, it's doing the exact same thing. But with that lunge that you get from doing the special charge up and swing and swinging and then swapping your weapon, the game is buffering to then get all the inputs out at the same time. So that's why you can go pretty far with a lament skate. Highly recommend if you don't have an eager edge sword to get lament because this will definitely come in handy. The problem though with lament is that it has a low ammo capacity. So therefore you're going to run out ammo more than an eager edge sword or a normal sword. The thing is as well, the charge up gives it more tracking. So that is a problem, but if you're playing at a higher FPS, you might not, you might get away with that due to the higher the FPS you have, the wink, like the more janky it is for tracking for swords, but uh, it's, it's all personal preference. Definitely lament is better than doing a normal sword skate. But as again, there's that reminder of low ammo capacity. So now we're going to go on the bread and butter of every speedrunner's wet dream, Eager Edge Sword. So with Eager Edge, the only reason why it is so good is because you're doing a normal sword skate, but it's also a buffer. So pretty much when I do this and swap, I'm carrying my momentum even further because if it's a buffer, it's a buffer swing and Eager Edge is boosting. So there's so much going on. You got your burst glide that is boosting your Eager, uh, your Icarus dash. And then with the, the momentum from your eager edge, you're pretty much stacking boosts. And then since there's buffer timing going on as well, when you swap your weapons, you're getting that massive momentum. Pretty much you're throwing yourself at maximum speed almost. And that's pretty much the movement there for eager edge. And this is so pretty much what we learn here is that you got burst skating, which helps you travel 
through areas. Maybe you can't use a sword. Maybe you're out of sword ammo. You can kind of get to point A to point B. Maybe you're on a different subclass or whatever. So you only have burst glide. This is pretty much going to be your your savior here. Maybe you're on solar and you don't have sword ammo, but you need to travel distances still pretty fast. Boom. That's that's going to be, you know, that's going to help you out. You know, you can cover distances because you're out of sword ammo. But say you just load in, you got sword ammo, you're ready to go. Boom. We're going in. You know, so you can travel pretty fast with that. And I hope this kind of helped out learning how to do basic uh, warlock movement. It is something kind of to get your brain used to. It's, it's literally just second. It's secondhand memory. It's, it's just something you'll do without even, you know, meaning to do it. I do it a lot because I'm just so used to it. But yeah, that is Warlock Movement 101. I hope that really helped you out. I uh, hope these uh, tech tips kind of help out. And I'll be probably hitting up uh, Titan and Hunter here uh, in the near future. But I hope this video has find uh, its way to helping any Warlocks wanting to learn how to move faster or any new potential warlocks wanting to learn how to go fast. Um, other than that, have a good one.